Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Gear Spec. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the valve cover gasket on a BMW E46. Mine is leaking around on the left side of the engine and uh, it is a pretty simple process to do at home. All you need is a 10 mil socket and a T30 to remove the four bolts of the cowl in the back of the cabin air filter. And once you remove the cowl, you get access in the back to bolt to remove the plastic pieces. Okay, and now we can just remove the uh, cables that are connected to the cowl and once that is out of the way, we can remove the cowl no problem. So just pull towards yourself and up and there it is. Just put it aside and now we get access to the bolts that uh, are mounted to the, on the cover of the engine. So there are four bolts, two on each one of them. Uh, once you remove the 10 mil bolts, okay. So you need to remove the cap for one of them because you are not able to remove the the cover. And once you have the cover out, put the cap back on and just put the cover aside. Same thing for the other side, just remove it. And now we've got access to remove the 10 mil around the valve cover. So start losing all of them and remove the bolts one by one. It's good to follow the pattern, which I'm not, but at least when you tighten them, you should follow the pattern, which is a crisscross criss -cross pattern. A small extension of four inches to get into some of them and uh, after that just remove the uh, the coils so nothing is on the way and put them aside make sure that you don't mix them up it's a good idea to not mix them otherwise you might get some misfiring so just put them someplace where you know where they belong Also, don't forget to remove the 10 mil um, in the middle of the valve cover where the ground is connected. And there are three more 10 mils in the middle of the valve cover. make sure you disconnect the crankcase ventilation. Make sure that all the bolts are out and uh, mine here is just hanging by one of the O-rings in the back, is stuck. Anyways, nothing else is holding the valve cover. Just be careful, there are some cables in the back. Okay, and here we have the valve cover out.
try to have the wiring that goes to the coils removed it's just some tabs around it and make sure to give it a quick wipe especially where the new uh, gasket is going to go to remove the dirt and make sure that it is not going to cause a leak so remove or scrape even if you have uh, dirt around the area same thing for the o-rings where the o-rings go give it a quick wipe and then inspect and see if you see anything or if you need to do any more cleaning my engine looks pretty good and I'm really happy about it actually it's an important thing also don't forget to clean the uh, inside of the valve cover if there is any dirt or uh, thick oil uh, especially around the the gasket where it's gonna go and make sure that you clean it and wipe it good especially in the groove where the gasket is gonna go don't forget that otherwise you might get a leak because the gasket might not be sitting properly and once you have everything cleaned you can start putting the uh, o-rings the spark plug o-rings back okay same thing with the valve cover gasket now there is no way of messing this up it's just one way the the gasket goes in place just make sure that it's seated properly and that the channel is clean of dirt and don't forget to put some uh, uh, high temperature uh, rtv around uh, the edges the corners of the engine especially where the grooves are uh, it tend to leak there so it's recommended that you use some uh, high temperature silicon RTV don't forget in the back the same thing in the back there and once that is all ready we can put the, the valve cover back in place make sure that the the gasket doesn't slip out or it's mislocated because i can assure you, you gotta get a uh, vacuum leak or even oil leak from there and that is not good so before you start tightening anything inspect and make sure that the gasket is seated correctly uh, replace where the, the bolts are going to go replace those o-rings as well it is very important so that you have a proper seal and once you are done with the o-rings we can start putting the nuts all around and um, we're supposed to tighten them at about 8 newton meter in a crisscross pattern but I do not have uh, a torque wrench with me here so I'm just going by hand feel but it's important to follow the crisscross pattern Okay, once we are done with this, there is two more in the back. It looks like I'm tightening them too much, but I'm not. And I hope I'm not because I'm not using the, the proper tools. okay don't forget the wiring harness of the uh, o2 sensors on the left side of the the engine and then we'll put the coils back in place like i said put them aside in an order that you don't mix them up
make sure that they snap in place otherwise you're gonna get misfiring okay and the wiring harness go back in place make sure to snap it in its position there are like five tabs there Okay, connect each one of the wirings with the coils and make sure that they are seated properly and you hear the snap. And don't forget to connect back the ground strap. So that was all to it guys. Uh, I didn't record when I put the cowl back on and the cabin air filter. Before I did that, I did install the cover and the four bolts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.